I think I ran my car a little too hard today. Joey was like, yo, bro, pieces were flying off your wheel. I'm like, what are you talking about? I check it out. What up, everybody? How you guys doing today? As you can see, I'm currently in the car. I'm actually driving two hours away to Maryland. We're meeting up with Alex again. And then we're actually gonna go meet up with the Dobre twins as well and do a bunch of car content. They have a ton of sick cars. And they have this drag strip that they always go to. So we're gonna do some racing as well. As you can probably tell, I'm in the Lamborghini right now. I have yet to open this car up. Haven't even been able to test the zero to 60. There's been a couple issues, obviously, with the suspension of the car. Got that figured out. I do have some plates missing under my car that do happen a let in air so at high speed still the car does shake a bit but for a quarter mile run we should be good but yeah hopefully we can actually take advantage of this car and its power today and not spin out but we'll see what we can do i hope everyone's having a good day so far i'm super excited for today it's gonna be an awesome time Pulled up. Looks like I got some bird poop on my car on the way here. I gotta give this thing a bath. Currently waiting on Alex to get here, but I did meet up with Joey, which if you guys don't know Joey, it is Alex's friend. I'm sure you guys have seen him in a previous vlog of mine, but he's got the blue super right there. Stop by at their shop. Apparently they have a bunch of classic cars. We're gonna go check them out. Ooh, your boy's got a pump somehow. What up, Joey? So is this your uncle's shop or? Yeah, my uncle's in uh, Alex's dad. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a real classic. <laughs> Hey, Daddy Lance 210. Who did that? <laughs> Fire. Oh, that's badass. So they both got Shelby's. Yeah, you got the carbon fiber wheel. Oh, dude, that's so sweet. And then the back wing is all carbon fiber. Oh, this is beautiful, bro. This one has no back seat. This is the track back. This only has like 100 miles on it. He, he barely drives. Damn, the interior is beautiful, too. I know it's a little hard to see. But... Oh, that's sick, man. No back seat. Is there a roll cage or not? Nah? No. That's 2000? Yeah. Fire. We usually have like 30 cars in here, but right now it's like running long. Joey's uncle's gonna hook it up with a wash. Yeah, this thing's pretty dirty right now. Here we go. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. Huge shout out to Browns Honda City. Appreciate y'all. Looking amazing now. There he is. What up, bro? Yes, sir. Good to see you. How you Good to see you, man. Great. What do you got in your car, bro? What? Gas? Yeah, I need an E85. <laughs> I need an E85 to faster now. I got like 900 wheels now. Oh, shit. So I might do it a little bit better. We'll see. We'll see. Damn, Alex. Looking small, bro. What happened? I know, right? <laughs> I'm playing. I was playing. I was up eight pounds this morning. Damn, really? I'm up five, bro, so I feel you. Bro, before LA, I was like 170, I was like shredded, bro, and then I just said the whole week I was eating whatever I wanted. I know. I got back home, I was like somewhat back on a diet, and then I had to go to Puerto Rico, so. We're literally in like the same wave right now, bro. I gotta get back on my shit, so I feel it. The 85 does wonders, bro. I bet. I've never ran it. I can run it. I got a flex fuel. Yeah. Alex has to get an oil change real quick. Then we're going to be hitting the road and we have like an hour and a half drive over to the Dobre Twins. They got a ton of cars. I'm super excited. I think they got a 488 Pista. It's badass. Never seen one in person. I feel like we're in just the middle of nowhere right now. They're so deep in the woods. It's insane. Oh my God, that's a sick house. Yo, what up guys? Yo, this place is sick as hell. Congrats guys, it's awesome. Good to see you, yeah, for sure. What's up, what's up? How you doing, bro? Lance, nice to meet you. What's up, bro? Lance, nice to meet you. Dude, I gotta check this thing out because, you know, I'm the Lambo fan. Don't you got STO or no? It's in there in the garage. Woo, we gotta check it out. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh God. Woo, 
488 piece there, bro. Never seen one in person. Same with the STO. Oh, this is beautiful. I love the color. Thanks. I got it that spec because Iron Man is my favorite superhero. Sweet. So I call it the Mark One. God damn. Of course, the G22 RS. Legendary. Oh, wow. You can start it off. Damn, bro. It's so much nicer than my Huracan. Nah, That's for sure. Nah, man. You're, you're the interior, bro. My interior is ass compared to this. This is sick. Wow. This is wild. You said start it? If you want. I bet. Thank what you. That's so nice. We even got STO right there. This thing's sick, man. It was in the oh shop. my god. There's so much carbon fiber. This was like got a lot more room than a Lambo too. Yeah, no, these are going for like a mill, dude. Wild. Honestly, the freshest whip here. This shit slaps, man. You can see they just got the new paint job, some fresh new tires. All right, we're gonna go start off our whips and then head over to the track. Damn, bro, they have so much land. They got a whole basketball court, three hoops. You wanna hear it? It shoots flames. This one. Oh, yeah, I Not as loud as yours. <laughs> Did you hear it down there? It sounded like a gunshot. Yeah, for real. X5M, G Class, X5M. Supplied? Yep. Yes, sir. Let's go charge it real quick and I'll make you guys the track. We're gonna check out the crib. A little ball pit. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is dope. You see nothing right now. That's all good. I, that happened to me, bro. My AC blew out one time yeah. for like five days. Brutal. Where, yeah. Sweet. Oh, dope. <laughs> what do you got back there? A goat? Yeah. <laughs> they have a whole airplane. Look at this. Got over to the track. What is this, quarter mile? A little less. Yeah? Yeah, it's less. Is this a thousand horsepower? Yeah, thousand one hundred. So I'm gonna launch Wheel? my car for the first time, rear wheel drive. I'm a little nervous because like, dude, I never get traction with this as it is, so we'll see. shakes when it goes over like 130 though yeah it's uh i still i'm missing the plates underneath uh -huh. and i'm waiting for them to come in from lamborghini the amount of rocks that my car picked up look it's just chilling on the front Do you holy have shit they're like clear coated i don't yet oh that's terrible dude i'm gonna give uh alex a launch in the car <laughs> horsepower up against Lucas and the Ferrari 488 Pisa. You ready? Let's get it, bro. I'm we're doing it from the dig. Both cars will be doing launch controls. 
no joke i think it's stock i think it's stock just did a few races i actually got a lot more traction than i thought i was gonna get we did good i was basically head in head with the 488 pista which is amazing that car is extremely fast so i'm very surprised this car is a beast man you about to drive soon got your shelby do some races let's get it sto that car is badass you're going against him. Really? Yeah. Like yeah. I'm burning now. Yeah. I'm burning that car. Let's see. And just like that, the car's dirty again. There was mad rocks and dirt all over this track. I'm gonna take a ride with Alex. You're good. I know, that's how I was. That was the only thing I was nervous about, was just spinning. If I spin, it's gonna f the whole thing up. 50, I should get him if I spin on 35. That's right, bro. I spun out a couple times doing it. I did, I did. I was <laughs> myself. I was like, stop, stop, stop. Because nah, you f almost hit the wall, dude. I was waiting for it to hook. I was just waiting for it to hook. And it yeah. just hook, bro. You're pushing too much power for a 35 roll in this, bro. 35 is too much. Yeah. <laughs> No, we'll do two. I'm gonna try one with my, in my dragster mode, and then I'm gonna try one launching it myself and see what happens. You spun for like two seconds. That was spun too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just wrapped up filming with the cars. We're gonna go get some food now. Really, really hungry. I think we're gonna head over to a diner. Then we have a leg workout, which I'm excited for. Damn, best park job of the century. Alex raves about this diner. We just pulled up. Bro, it's fire. About a grub. Fill up with cars before my lift. And look at all the desserts. Oh, the Cinnabons. Can't go wrong with them. Little pies, cannolis. I drank like two giant bottles of water. I'm still dehydrated as hell, so I'm gonna chug a lot here. There's milkshakes with you. Damn, bro. All right, let's see what we got to choose from. Oh, damn, look at that milkshakes. What the hell? They look wild. I'm not sure if we're gonna go a breakfast route. Alex said the French toast is pretty good here. You can't go wrong with French toast, right? I'm right, gonna go with the Elvis French toast. Stuffed with peanut butter, banana, caramel sauce, chocolate syrup, and dusted with powdered sugar. Wow. Oh, wow, who the hell ordered that, bro? That looks gas. We got crab fries and I put cheese on it. Alright, so they said they were ordering crab fries, right? And crab fries to me is just fries with like a certain type of seasoning on it. I think it's, um, what's it? Old Bay. Old Bay, right? I go to this place called Chickies and Pete's. If that's all it is, they don't actually put crab on it, but this place does, so like, I don't eat seafood. I'm just like eating the fries around it. I'm disappointed. I'm sure they're fire it's though. It's so good. Bro. Yeah. It's so good. Both Julie and I, we don't eat seafood. No, it's just not my thing. I don't like it. Really? I don't like the texture. It's just like roasting me out for some reason. Wow, that looks pretty bro. Good. That looks pretty good. Y'all got wraps? Oh. It's pretty good. I gave it an eight. Oh, I I think you he told me how to send him a video of myself in my underwear. What did he do? What? 
how to set it. Like, I'm trying to get the model in, right? My buddy does it. <laughs> He's dying, bro. He was like, Miami yeah. Swim Maker, something I can get in it. I can meet all these connections like the modeling world. So I hit up like this agency guy. First thing he says, what is your underwear size? Send me a, and, like email me videos and pictures what? and videos and your underwear. That's mad weird. And I was like, I like, I'll talk to Spence here. I was like, yo, is this normal? He's like, yo, ask Owen. It's like, that's, Dude, the that's it's weird. Just, it's like, you don't see if you pack or not. Is this, <laughs> is this protocol or is this like. Dude, you gotta stuff your pants with like an eggplant or something. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to record my food. I ain't got nothing left. I ate it all. But um, that was a nice story. <laughs> Damn, I'm still kind of hungry though. <laughs> Do I get one yeah. of those shakes? Get a shake, bro. I'll share it with you. Damn. You don't finish it? Alright, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I got a shake. I got an Oreo shake. Oh my god. Big, Thank you. That is ridiculous. Thank you. What the hell? You did B-roll on that whole thing. I know, for real. <laughs> I completely devoured that. I don't know how, but I'm still hungry. Like, it, it makes no sense. See, Alex has never seen a binge of mine. And uh, I, can, I just keep going, bro. What a promo cookie. Yeah, for real. <laughs> That's the spot. <laughs> Every time I come here, I feel like I eat, we eat like shit, right? Yes. I don't do it to you, right? No. Okay. I, I just want to make sure, like, I'm not f***ing your diet up or some shit, you know? No, it's funny because you text me saying, like, yo, I need a meal prep. Like, let's not hit the diner. And then you, like, like, what, I don't know, a few minutes later, you're like, no, nah, actually, like, we can go to the diner. Yeah, so here's the deal. My birthday's in a couple days, and I already know I'm going to eat, like, shit, So I'm like, fuck it. He wanted to go to the diner. I'm like, oh, fuck, bro. Let's just, like, eat clean. You know, if you want to get something at the diner, that's cool. Um, I'll probably just end up bringing something or getting something. And I was like, eh, screw it. Never mind. We'll just do whatever you want to do. So. Here, yeah, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Nice to yeah, meet you. So cool. I've seen you since Vine. Oh really? Thank you, bro. Frank. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Appreciate it, man. That's your that's your Liberty Walk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got it, right? Yeah, yeah. A couple weeks ago, huh? That's really cool. Thank you, my that's man. Cool. I think I ran my car a little too hard today. We just pulled up at Alex's and Joey was like, yo, bro, pieces were flying off your wheel. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I check it out. Bro, look at this. Okay, it's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like this. Oh damn, it's man. Like, yeah, but you're showing. Like, it's not I can wheel. You can fix that easy. Yeah. This, part, this part, classic part blew up or some shit. I can either... It's too hot. You know, I'm just going to obviously have to take it off. I could reorder it or just take it off entirely. I mean, I don't need it on there, bro. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. I'll just take it, it off. I wonder what it would look like without the black on it. <laughs> it probably looked dope, to be honest. I think it looked better. Too. Yeah, it might, honestly. That's a shame. It looks, like, so trashy now. Uh, we'll get it figured out. All right, we just got the Alex's. We're going to go check out his gym. It's got one down in his basement. Oh, right. shit. Hey, dude, you got more than I expected to be honest. Yeah. It's great. I'm gonna tell you right now, but this light and that on, that's what I do for like all my like pictures and videos. I'll post my story. Yeah. Really good lighting. Yeah. Fire. You got a lot of machines. A lot of people don't have like a lot of machines. Yeah, Most like machines dumbbell clutch. setups. And that thing's clutch. That's probably my favorite thing we got. And then I have like messages back here. I have one when Bradley Martin first DM me. Oh, really? November. What do you say? Would you be interested in working with me and my team, Roger? Oh, that's awesome. Right? It's crazy. And then some of them just like messages from people showing love, but yeah. It's pretty sick, right? Hell yeah, bro. That's right. dope. I get good, like, workouts in here. All this positivity, too, man. It's good reinforcement. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me feel good. Yeah, sweet. Hey, hey gains. The speakers are pretty good. I'm telling you, bro. Get a pump on here. 100%. The lighting's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, the lighting is fire. I only do this one, and then I turn this one. I usually have that one off, and then I have my phone in a cup right here. <coughs> People fry me for that, because I'm on the tripod. <laughs> but it's off. Makeshift, bro. Whatever works. <laughs> nice to the guests. I don't think she likes me, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. The fangs are coming. <laughs> Be sweet, be good. Bro. She's like wagging her tail. I know she's like happy at the same time. You want a treat? Are you gonna stop being bad? <laughs> well, how do you like slowly introduce her to somebody? She just gotta first like just have your have your set probably in the house for a little bit. Gotcha. And then you can slowly start to feed her, and then she'll be cool. Takes about a week. Yeah, a week. Oh, oh damn. Like a week. Have to cook for with Sam. Oh, she's it's still going. Let's see the uh, the pot room. Yeah, let's do it. It's chill. You just gotta have. Yeah, it's a vibe, right? We got a million Legos. Yeah, I know. I oh, got wow. this. That's what I was gonna start building. Actually. Star Wars. But in slow one, and I got more right there. I gotta build those two. <laughs> you said somebody donated Legos or some shit. Five hundred dollars, and then they give me another five hundred. So I still gotta spend that. So of Legos. Legos. So somebody at the Coliseum, I think that's. So that's Daniel. That's like the because the podcast is called the Lions Den. So that's Daniel. It's like a biblical reference. Sweet. But these are sick. No, nah, that's bad. Yeah. They're like motivational and then I'm like supposed the to get a... That stuff's dope. Yeah, no, this is really cool. It's like motivating, you know? Probably 
grind, execute, focus. So Alex just went off to get a shower, right? We're about to hit the gym. I don't know what this dude put on. He turned on the TV and it's a video, keys to seduction. Like, what is this, bro? I feel like he put this on just to f with us. Like, 100%. He's trolling hard right now, I know it. Joey, did you put this shit on? Keys to seduction. He said, I've been into this <laughs> I think he wants to put it on for us to watch, bro. <laughs> bro, on the screen it said how to seduce someone, and you said, what did he say before I walked upstairs? Right here, he put it on. He was like, I've been enjoying these lately. <laughs> bro, I've been reading this Robert Green. Okay. It's like these, like how to like over how to become like the leader of life. How to like. So did you just not know that that episode was I'm about seducing that's someone? That's like, hilarious. That's what I gotta get next after I read War. And oh, so he's power. gonna get that one. War power seduce. <laughs> You never heard of this 48 Laws of Power? No, I have, yeah, but I, I don't know why that was on the TV, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's one I haven't found out yet. <laughs> he wants me to deadlift the Jeep? What? I'm confused. Where did I do it? Over here? You grab that, lift it. I did it the other day. Just go rid of my shoulder. It's wide. It's a wide grip. Drive. Drive. I, I'm gonna get my footing right, it's a little awkward. Why? It's awkward. Yeah, it's just awkward, I can do it. So I've never done smelling salts before. Apparently, it's supposed to like just wake you up and you feel like energized and you get a good lift. I'm kind of nervous, bro. I'm gonna hold it under your nose and just go over and smell it. And do your Hold on, I got anxiety, bro. Get, get, get position for it. Okay. You gotta do it right now. <laughs> 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 I'm you. Wait, bro, I think I'm gonna have a heart panic attack. <laughs> no, bro, it's not that bad. I'm fine. You ready for your set? You gotta be ready for your set. You go right into it. Okay. Alright, ready for your set? <laughs> Holy <laughs> sh**! What the f**k? <laughs> <laughs> <Me, bro. laughs> That's weird. It's like, it just burns. That's the best way to describe it. It just f***ing burns. That's weird. I don't know if I want to do that again. It's not as bad as I thought, but it, it just feels like you're breathing in um, almost Amon like fire. Ammonia, it's like it's like a cleaning like product. It's called uh, ammonia. Um, oh, it's ammonia? Yeah. Bro, you got me breathing in ammonia? He put his whole face in that bitch. What the f Why would you do that? What the right. f is that doing? Wakes you up. <laughs> Yo, put it up your ass, bro. It hits harder. F that. <laughs> that's why you're smelling it. It's all over your face. He's like, why do I still smell it? It's like three minutes later. Yes, I can, it's like, I'm like, bro, I know this. Is it off now? <laughs> hour and a half? Cut. Yeah, it's been about an hour and a half. We still, go. still, we still gotta, I wanna hit um, quads. Did you ever get like a plate? Never mind. I think I just the pulse on doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a good workout partner. Here, do that again. Yo. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. yo. He getting ready yo, for. Yo, he, I never seen this type of cab machine workout, either. bro. He getting ready for tomorrow night. Stop playing with him, stupid. It's the new trend. The big necklaces. Stop playing with him, stupid. Yeah. What were you saying about Alex dicking around? What? Alex's workouts are. Bro. Yo, he just does so much volume. I'm not used to this much volume. Bro, we just, I don't want to roast you on your own video. <laughs> Yo, you should, I don't, I, I just don't do that much volume. Like, I don't know, like. How many, how many sets did we do? 
Like, not enough, bro. We did fucking four exercises. Man, Honestly, it's, it's not even about the amount of exercises. Like when I, when I, for example, like squats, I'll do like 45 minutes of squats, and then I'll do like about 30 minutes of lunges. I don't know. We've been here for you an hour minutes? and 40 minutes. Honestly, a lot of the time it's like, you know, just like dicking around and like, and like, like going on your phone and shit like that. I don't know. I just try my go, try and go on my phone as minimal as possible when I'm at the gym. Just trying to zone in. If I'm dialed in, if I'm like. I don't know. This well, is more of like want, a. Bro. I'm here. I'm here for one more day. Tomorrow we got chest. We're gonna kill it, bro. No phones. We're, we're fucking shutting our shits off and putting them in a locker. Four exercises and I do four sets each. Okay, that's I fine. Go, I go ape shit and I lift, bro. I swear to God, I go so hard. Like I feel like I should be a lot bigger than I am, but like genetics, bro. I don't fucking know. I feel like I've already reached like my potential. I've gained a total of five pounds of muscle in three years. Like that's so. Shit. That being natural. Myself. We say the same song. I kill myself every day when I lift. I just don't grow. You think it's like a recovery thing? Possibly. I, I give myself like no downtime. Like I, I, I go every single day to the gym. I have like one recovery day like a fucking month, bro. Well, too, what I'm saying, like, because you do a lot of volume. I'm saying like, I, I've like looked at a bunch of studies. It's just too much volume. It can make you lose muscle. Yeah. If you do too much volume, there's a point where you, there's uh there's no extra returns. Like I watched it. Like Derek made a video one. It's like a graph how like. You go up a certain amount of working sets, and then like 12 working sets of like good good intensity is like the the max. And then more the more you do, it goes down. That's like you're getting diminishing returns because you've already activated enough muscle tissue. You've already torn up the muscle tissue. Like there's some days like when I trained legs with Hattie last time, we went balls to the wall and leg press, hack squat. I was done after those two exercises. Yeah. I was done. Like my I just couldn't I couldn't do it. Bro, I, I was, like I said, I do squats for like 45 minutes, and then I do lunges for like 30. I'm dead, but I keep going. I keep going, I, I push through. Like, I feel I like you crying. Have to, though. I feel like you reach, like once you do that much volume, I feel like you're gonna still grow. If you do yeah. more and more, you're just like, you're not getting more return. I mean, that's just a crackhead, you just wanna keep burning. Calories I just wanna keep going, bro. Yeah, I check my calories non stop. It's like more, 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 more. Keep going, keep going. Like, I'm strong as shit, but I just feel like I should be getting more growth. Honestly, I don't give myself enough recovery days. It's probably why, but like, I'm addicted to going to the gym, bro. I used to go twice a day. Like, that's overkill, but it's just enjoying to me. Like, enjoyment. I love it. For, for my chest now, like, I'll do more with you, but like, I only usually do two exercises for chest. Four sets, like, I do eight sets for chest and I'm done. And I do shoulders. This is the part I always do for me. So to me, it's just like, why would I put more and more time in it if it's already, like, big enough? I'd rather spend that time, like, maybe doing some delts to get my delts bigger tries. I used to do hella volume though. I used to be like a guy who did like five exercises. Like I'd go to the gym for an hour and a half and only hit chest. Yeah. And now it's different. It's like if I go to the gym for an hour and a half, I'm gonna do chest, shoulders, and triceps. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been like volumes for like almost 10 years straight. Yeah. Just going eight yeah. every time I lift. Like a bro split? Yeah. 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 There's a Polister one behind me. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's getting over. Look at this. I've never seen one in person. Right there. That's cool. So I just pulled over on the side of the road because I was feeling nauseous and I literally ended up throwing up. I'm on my way to the gym right now and there's all the throw up. This happened the other day and it was right after I took this fish oil. I don't know if the fish oil went bad or something, but I'm gonna throw it out because it's the second time it's happened to me. It's no coincidence. And what's funny is I didn't have any tissues or anything in my car. I have tissues now, but it's because my dad ironically was driving by as this was happening. He saw me puking. He had some tissues in his car. So what are the odds of that? It's really weird. Oh, anyway, let me go get my, my lift in. Literally just like threw up all my pre-workout. I hate throwing up too. Look, like who actually enjoys throwing up, right? But whenever I feel the need to throw up, I literally do everything in my power to like restrict it and like hold it down and like make myself not do it. Both times, it was such an intense feeling that I had no choice. Like I had to pull over i literally was in the car and i'm like oh <laughs> like i'm getting nauseous well better to do it now than during my workout that would be bad all right so i know everybody in the world has been complaining about gas prices so happy father's day <laughs> There's a hundred dollars on there. Yeah, cool, oh, man. <laughs> i know it's an awkward gift but i wanted to give you something hey, a little personal it works yeah, yeah, yeah and so i also got you uh ruth chris gift card hundred dollars Nuts. Yeah, I want you and mom to change up your selections of places you go to, so. Nah, the end, bro. Nah. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Thanks, guys. For sure. <laughs> we brought Hazel hey, over. Uh, what are you doing, huh? <laughs> See, I knew he'd get awkward about it. That's the funny part. It is an awkward gift, though. Someone's like, yo, here's some gas money, bro. Nah, it's cool. <laughs> I need it. Yeah. As much as I travel. Yeah, for real. So my birthday is officially tomorrow, but the time recording this is Father's Day. My parents wanted to celebrate my birthday today. Dave and Sabrina just gave me a gift card for a place that we always shop at, food store. It's amazing. So thank you guys for that. Appreciate y'all. And uh, my parents got something for me in here. Let's check it out. 
Oh, a new GoPro, yeah, boy. I actually, we, we didn't know what the hell to get you. We went riding the other day on the jet skis and I lost it. So we're in the middle of the ocean right now riding jet skis. I had a GoPro in my head. I've been recording footage for the past hour. Got a lot of really, really awesome footage. I fell off the jet ski and literally lost the GoPro. I'm so pissed at myself. I don't even give a shit about the GoPro. I care about the footage. Like the, the footage is not recoverable. I can go buy a new GoPro. I can't buy new footage. It sucks, man. But you know, shit happens, gotta move on. Gotta stay positive. I'm with my dad and uh, Rich right there. This is awesome though. I actually wanted to get the newer one. This is the uh, the Hero 10. Is that the one you had? No, you no, I had the older version of it. Yeah, it's the newer uh, cool. one. That's sweet, thank you so much. Awesome. And that fell right in place. I know, <laughs> literally perfect yeah, timing Hopefully too. Hopefully somebody finds that uh, GoPro and looks at the footage. Yeah, there's like mad footage of us riding on there. Send it's it so back upset. to us. Mail it back. <laughs> I'm so upset. I, I didn't care about the GoPro. I just wanted the footage, man. It was, was a it shame. In the water? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah fell, it, fell. it fell deep into the ocean. First one was uh, when we went down the shore. Yeah. They me and you raced. Oh, and I lost one then too? Yeah. yeah. They're both yeah. together. I always her. lose GoPros, man. So uh, hopefully sweet. you won't lose it. Yeah, there's a whole kit in here of like, you know, like a floaty. So if I drop it, I, you know, I won't lose it. Some different accessories, which is awesome. And then some more accessories Full in accessory. here. I actually was looking at accessories the other day. Good thing I didn't buy anything because I needed like a whole range of new stuff. Ooh, my parents got me a, this is what I requested for my birthday because I really wanted it. It's a banana cream pie. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Damn, they just stuck a giant banana on top too. Oh my God, that looks a little. <laughs> that looks a little sus. <laughs> you didn't see it yet? No, I didn't see it yet. <laughs> that actually looks sus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, there we go. It does look good surrounding here or whatever. <laughs> She's not talking about the banana itself. I was, I'm looking at whatever that is. I don't know. The banana? That's what yeah, she what said. Yeah, we'll find the dildo. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> He's sticking it into the banana. Yeah, I guess it works. You look like you're experienced playing with bananas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Side job. <laughs> I should put plants in the head. <laughs> Which head? With my banana. <laughs> That's a little sauce. He does it to Julian. It's okay. What? What? <laughs> All right. What? All right. That's a little, a little much. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Make a wish, cuz. Jesus. There you go. Yes, sir. We're still here. What? Hey. <laughs> Make a wish. I, oh. It, Go you got the relighting ones? Yeah. <laughs> that was grandma's wish. You, you gotta make TikTok? official. Did you see a TikTok we did? I disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
basically it's just like you know you write the date there's like a quote for the day you write three things you're grateful for three things that would make today great daily affirmations and at the end of the day you come back and you write like highlights of the day and then like what did you learn today we've been doing this for basically a year now just helps set the mood for the day i really enjoy doing this just keeps uh my mind on a good path practicing gratitude has taught me a lot it's really easy to wake up every single day feeling like you have no purpose but i do feel as if you know when you think about the things on a daily basis that you know you may be grateful for like for example just simply having a roof over my head or something as simple as maybe i dropped a pencil and like somebody picked it up for me you know what i mean it's these little things that you may not think twice about unless you actually go through and be like hmm you know wh what can i be grateful for and i think it's just positive reinforcement you know having more positive thoughts in your life compared to negative more you know positive things are gonna happen in your life so keeps me having a good mindset for the day what are you doing she's chewing up the box <laughs> So if anybody out there can learn anything from this video, I would simply just say, try to practice gratitude more often, especially if you seem to be like a negative person a lot. I'm telling you, this just like completely changes your mindset. I know there are a lot of people that think just like negative thoughts all day long and just feel like their life is, you know, shitty and just not interesting or good but everybody has something to be grateful for every single day i mentioned this on my instagram story i know there could be shitty situations like for example maybe somebody passed away that day and obviously somebody picking up a pencil for you isn't going to outweigh that situation but it's still something to be thankful for it's still something that can start making you think positive thoughts instead of just like dwelling on a negative she's messing this box up Ooh, let's see it oh wow Yum. Oh, there's no little sprinkle. Oh, wow. They gypped us. What happened wow. there? This is supposed to be a cosmic brownie, but they gave us like three f***ing sprinkles, bro. Yeah. Rocky Road, cookie butter, blueberry cheesecake, and honey bun. We always evenly split our cookies and like weigh them out. I'm not going to do a taste test. I'm just eating them. I just want to enjoy it. So we ate the cookies. There's usually one every week that me and Julia just like are in awe about. But this week, I don't know. They just all were kind of like similar in ratings. They were good, right? But there's usually one that like stands out like crazy. So we had those and then we went to go do a back workout i'm actually hitting legs again later tonight like i said we do legs twice a week They're usually like fridays and mondays but just came to stop by dropped grandma's medicine off i think she has something to give me what is it yeah it's gonna slap me in the face in. oh because i didn't get your card <laughs> what is this bro money you're wild bro. you got me cards but i didn't get one so. thank you thank you i i don't i don't want your money bro. what is this uh, here we go, gas money. That's yeah, this will give me about half a tank right now. But hey, you no tank, <laughs> Yeah, for real. Thank you, I appreciate it. You got a haircut. It looks good. Yeah, Smells good, too. Handsome. I just told grandma we just went and ate cookies and went to the gym. And I said, we're going again. She's like, dude, why do you go two times? And I don't even like them cookies, so you know I don't want them. Well, I usually go right after we eat those cookies because I like to burn off the sugar. Because if not, I literally just want to go to sleep. Like, if I let that sugar just sit in my system and I don't use the energy... I'll pass out. Yeah, but she eat the whole fucking box. I know we eat the entire. <laughs> yeah. I never seen somebody eat as many cookies. It's like two thousand calories in cookies. Oh my god, oh, sorry. Yeah, I actually got a stomach ache. I think there was a lot more fat this week in the cookies. Yeah, the birthday cake was good. I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I ever had that kind. Yeah, really the banana cream pie. Cake, me. Yeah, I'm not like a fan of like cakes on my birthday. Like I'm not a big cake person. I like pies. I like, you know, brownies and cookies, obviously. I'm going to Julia's family tonight. Her mom made me, it's a cookie and brownie layer with like caramel in the middle. Wow. Yeah, so I'm excited for that. I'm going to be all sugared up. She made lasagna, too. You know what I'm dying for? Peach cobbler. Yeah, that's interesting. It's very random. Yeah, very. Yeah. Very. haven't had it in years. We'll have to get grandma on that sometime. Julia has a gift to give me for my birthday. Let's check it out. You have to close your eyes. Close my eyes? Yeah. Okay, well, I have to, like, you have to guide me. It's in a dick's bag because nice. I, I don't... Is a dick? No. no okay. I don't wrap <laughs> gifts, really, ever. That's what grandma calls me every time I prank her or something. That's your first gift, by the way. There's oh, two. Oh, I'm sick. A Polaroid. Is this like the new, like, electronic one? Yeah, they make, like, bigger Polaroids. They're not, so, like, tiny. And you cool. can, like, make a collage with them. No, this is actually really cool and thoughtful because, you know, if we go somewhere or something, we can take, like, on a cool Clicks. in the moment pictures. Yeah, and it's cute because you can actually keep them and they print them out. And that one connects to your phone and everything. Oh, sweet. I think it's just more meaningful than just it like is. an iPhone picture, you it know really what I mean? Is. And it's like a physical copy you can hold. And it's yourself. like kind of vintage looking. Yeah. It's cute. Sweet, thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, close your eyes. Oh, there's something else. Okay, you can open. There's a paper on, they couldn't see it. <laughs> We're going Sorry. to Greece? <laughs> what, when? September. September? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's 
awesome. Thank you so much. We're going to Athens too, which is like the Greek god, like. Yeah, boy! Hey! <laughs> We're gonna be at your homeland. That's hilarious. Thank you so much. Yeah, Yo, that's sick. I've been saying we want to travel more too. Dude, it's gonna be insane. How long? Ten days. Wow, that's long actually. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say like five, because it's usually like five. How long no, go you can't. Yeah, no, it's gonna take us like what a whole day to get there anyway. No, it's actually only nine hours. Okay. Well, yeah, it's not, not bad. bad. This is sweet. I'm really yeah. excited. I'm Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Oh, that's gonna be so sweet. Dude. I'm hyped. Wait, I want to show you. What? Our place? Yeah. What is it? What do you mean? Yeah, show me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we have one night in Athens. Okay. Which, do you want me to show you where we're staying and all that? Sure. Okay. That's in Athens. Obviously, you guys are going to see, you know, when we get there. Yeah. Cool. Dude, it's so sick. You know exactly what day we're going? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just obviously won't put that out there. <laughs> Y'all yeah. gonna try and meet us in Greece? Yeah. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesse's gonna fing sneak up on us like Jungle Nuggets. <laughs> That is going to be an insane trip. I hope you guys are excited. I know I'm excited. Of course, we're going to get some really awesome content out there. Julia's wild for that. I really appreciate that. that that's crazy. Just got to Julia's parents' house. About to go get some lasagna and a really nice cookie brownie caramel thing. Whatever you want to call it. She wants to go play with Buddy. Oh, that's hilarious. Look what they have on the TV for me. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh. She doesn't stop crying. She gets like overly excited. <laughs> What's in there? The lasagna. It's on the top shelf though and it's dark. Oh yeah, that looks great. I'm ready to devour <laughs> garlic bread. Ooh, this one looks fire. We get a whole log to mm -hmm. ourselves. He gets two. I get two Ooh, oh, yeah. I'll come back, I'll come back. I'm literally gonna eat my heart out right now. You get to pick your piece Um. This one. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you. I ate two pieces of bread, two pieces of lasagna, and salad. Check it out. Wow. Oh my god. And then there's tons of caramel in the middle. Dude. Yes. So brownie cookie mix. This looks amazing. Got some French vanilla ice cream too. That looks incredible. Screw crumble cookie. We got this. Happy Hey, let's go. All right, first plate. Jack it up. Stop it. Jack it up, but that's, wow, that's correct. That's good. That's good. That was really good. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Just wrapped up my leg workout. I'm definitely feeling the effects of sugar overload. I'm crashing from it. I felt like I was pale the entire workout. My face like flushed out. Just felt like I was gonna pass out the whole time. I still pushed through. I still had a great lift. Definitely not eating right today. And my body is, is surely showing it. I'm just like, I just feel like shit. Good thing I won't be doing this every day. My friend No Way, he got me this card. Hilarious. Baby flexing. And he also got me a Chipotle gift card, which is really nice. Another super long vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do me a favor. If you're still watching up to this point, leave a comment down below. And just type out loyal. Because you are a loyal fan if you have made it this far. My previous vlog was 50 minutes long. Look, I can easily chop these videos up and make like two or three videos out of it. Because I do know, of course, not every single person sits there and watches a 50 minute long video like the previous video. I was but you know at the end of the day I do this for my hardcore fans I appreciate all of y'all thank you so much for all the birthday wishes you guys are awesome still can't believe that I'm 26 years old man it's just it's just such a weird feeling and thought it feels like the other day that I literally just made like my 21st birthday vlog you guys remember drunk Lance it's wild how much my life has changed over the past couple years just a lot has happened and I mean a lot is going to continue to happen of course you know one day you might see a little Lance coming out obviously a hundred percent gonna have kids in the future are gonna be awesome but you know we'll talk about that at a later date we're gonna be doing a huge fourth of july sale on my website lance210.com stay tuned for more info in the next video other than that i'll see you guys next time peace